All right, I wanted to do a follow-up video to the one I did about the Catholic Nazi New Order NIV. And uh, what I did is I went down through, I have quite a few of the Bible versions here, I think over 70 of them right now. And I went down through them and I checked out Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10. The majority of them, the vast majority of them say a time of reformation or the time of reformation or a time of correction, some say very small number of them actually say the new order okay and today I want to show you in this video I want to show you some of the ones that say new order these ones right here we're gonna go through some of them and uh, I want to show you that and I want to show you some of the philosophy behind this new order uh, Bible perversion uh, philosophy so let's take a look at some of these Okay, first we're going to start out with the King James Bible. Let me zoom in here real close so you can see it. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10. You have a time of reformation right there. Okay, and then here we have the NIV, Hebrews 9, verse 10, until the time of the new order. Okay. So you see it right there. Now before I continue, let's see here we have the NIV and here God's perfect word, the King James Bible. Let me just make this point quick. Right here, the West Cotton Hort 1881. This is an original. This says time of reformation. And here we have the American Standard Version. This also says time of reformation. So this is not the majority of new versions do not read this way. It's only a small minority. But let's continue on here. Next we have the revised, what we, revised English Bible. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10. It says here, until the coming new order. Coming new order. Okay. Now that's interesting right there because Jesus Christ had already brought the time of Reformation when Hebrews 9 verse 10 was written. But this says it's a coming new order. It's not here yet, it's coming. See, it's bad news. Things are being, these new versions are being written by occultists many times. Okay, where are we at here? Uh, verse 10 until the time uh, for the new order. Okay, now this one here is, um, see if I can get it, the Bible and American Translation. Okay, now you can't even get these things. They're not even in print anymore. At least I don't think that they are. Um, but this thing came out and the, and the publicity was, you know, oh, this is going to replace the King James Bible and finally we have a Bible that people can understand and all this nonsense. Uh-huh, yeah, out of print. Catholic Study Edition, the Good News Bible, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10, down here at the bottom, the new order. God will establish the new order. Oh boy. Okay, next we have the TNIV. And here we have 9, verse 10, Washington's external regulations applying until the time of the new order. They didn't change it from the NIV. And they're not going to change it in the new one either, I bet. Um, down here, the Modern Language, New Testament, New Berkeley Version. Any Bible that's named a Berkeley Version, you better watch out for. Okay, here we have it up here. <clears throat> Until the time of the new order. There's another one. Okay, next we have the New American Bible. Catholic Bible. And in here, see there, until the time of the new order. Okay, and, and all of these Bibles, by the way, came out after Hitler was going around talking about the new order, bringing in a new order. Next we have God's Word to the Nations. Oh boy. Hebrews 9, verse 10, new order. Again, you see it there, until the time of the new order. 
Okay, now we have one of the most funny ones, the Amplified Bible. I don't know why anybody would want to use this thing. It's just ridiculous. This, this thing's always good for a laugh, and that's about it. It says here, Until the time of setting, setting things straight, of reformation, of the complete new order, when Christ the Messiah shall establish the reality of what these things foreshadow, a better covenant. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, but, you know, here you have Reformation, there you have New Order. So it actually puts both in. Just ridiculous. This amplified nonsense. But now for the worst one of all, it says here, <clears throat> until the time when God will establish the New Order. God's going to establish the New Order. And what do we have? We have the Illuminated Bible. And I've covered this in other videos. Just satanic garbage. I mean, this thing's just horrible. But now let's talk about some of the philosophy of why they're doing this, why they're putting in the new order. <clears throat> First, I want to show a little article here. It's in our newspaper. Uh, October 20th of this year. It says here, Homer Bart, our Catholic, Vatican says, the Vatican released an official statement saying that Homer and Bart are Catholic. Okay? And it's and it is an official statement. I mean read the article there. Okay, I'll just kind of go up over it. You can pause it and read it if you want to. Okay. Now if I was a Catholic I would be very uh upset about that. <clears throat> that somebody with horrible moral values like Homer and Bart Simpson, you know, fictional characters, I realize, but why are they calling them Catholic? Okay, and again, who owns the Simpsons? Uh, Fox Television. Hmm, Rupert Murdoch. Uh, Knight of St. Gregory the Great. Very interesting. This next article, <coughs> here we have the lifestyle section of our paper, and here you have a nun and talking about this local Catholic school here. And guess what the title of the article is? A New Order. <laughs> I mean, they just can't get away from it. And <clears throat> just showing the sad state of affairs with the Catholic system, I want to show this part here. She took her vows and became a bride of Christ. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Okay, you don't get saved by being a nun. All right, that's ridiculous. I, I mean, and she might be a very nice lady, but... You know, what deception. But again, why are they using the term of Adolf Hitler? Of the Nazi regime? I mean, if they put a big swastika right here, people would say, oh, that's bad. But they use the same terminology, and oh, that's good. Absolutely just crazy. Okay, next I want to show you this book right here to show you some of the philosophy of the New Age, New World Order crowd. This is one of the most popular books out there on the philosophy of the New uh, World Order people. And it says here, let me zoom in just a little bit. Look here, he says, My great personal dream is to get a tremendous alliance between all the major religions and the United Nations. That's the Antichrist Kingdom. And look what he is here. Mueller is a Catholic and con considers himself a good one. <clears throat> but I am not so fanatical as not to respect other faiths. I would never fight with another religion about the superiority of mine. And you see, that's the philosophy of the new version crowd. Well, let's not fight. Let's not be King James only. Let's not be, you know, cut on other Bible versions. Let's all just come together and, and accept our differences. Mm -hmm. That's their philosophy. Show you some other things here. He says, if Christ came back to earth, his first visit would be to the United Nations to see if his dream of human oneness and brotherhood had come true. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. 